Good evening folks, welcome back to the channel. Red Star Belgrade 2, Liverpool 0. Oh, what can you say? Teams lined up as follows, Alisson in goal, uh, Trent at right back, two centre halves, Joel Matip and Virgil van Dijk, Andy Robertson at left back. Uh, midfield three of Jeannie Van Yeldum in the six, James Milner and Adam Lallana as the furthest forward point in that midfield. Then on the right wing you have Mohamed Salah, uh, up top Daniel Sturridge, and on the left wing you have Sadio Mane. Uh, what an atmosphere that that, uh, that stadium in, in Belgrade, I don't know the name of it, what an atmosphere they create, real hostile, real, uh, real energy about it. Uh, please forgive me, I'm walking home from the pub and it's freezing! Um, so yeah, really impressed by that. They were obviously going to come out of the blocks and they pressed us real high up the field. Um, didn't give us much in midfield. Uh, first 10 minutes, Liverpool struggled. Um, poor, uh, very very poor mistake from, well, not poor, but he gets, uh, first of all, like as a, as, a, as a poor head away. Uh, it's capitalised in midfield. He doesn't, deal, he doesn't deal with the second ball, leads to a corner. Corner causes all sorts of chaos. Zonal marking, it, the zone doesn't work. Adam Lalana lets Milan Pavkov through. Um, and he, to be fair, it's a decent header. Keeper can do nothing about it. That's 1 0. Um, the stadium goes absolutely bananas. Uh, from here, Belgrade really upped their game. Uh, for Really upped their game. Really outworked us in midfield. Liverpool struggled to get anything, any foothold in the game. Daniel Sturridge, way before this goal even goes in, has an absolute sitter from two yards. I mean, a sitter from two yards. I'm not a first cousin to a footballer. And I genuinely reckon I could have done that. I could have scored that. It's heartbreaking when you see something when you see something like that. I honestly reckon if Sturridge scores that first, I reckon we could have kicked on. And that would have that would have given us the boost in our step. It would have quietened the crowd. Oh my god, it would it's just heartbreaking when you see like that. And this is like that, it just gives them more energy and it just says Ah, it's just heartbreaking to watch. Then, uh, then obviously after the, Pav, the, the Pavkov goal, stadium is on fire. Can't do much about it. Um, once, as I said before, getting outworked in the field. Genie, Genie loses the ball. Gets cannot get goal side of Pavkov again. It's three mistakes. One, Genie loses the ball. Two, the centre backs don't press. And three, I think Allison should have done a hell of a lot better. But hey, that's only my opinion. Obviously, they're professional footballers. Um, then Liverpool struggle to get up the pitch for, this, uh, for the for the remainder of the half. Go in at half time two 0 I would love to have been a fly on the wall at, uh, at half time in that dressing room because uh, there definitely would have been boots flying. Uh, he makes a chain. He makes two changes at half time. Brings on Bobby Firmino and uh, takes off Daniel Sturridge. Brings on Joe Gomez and takes off Trent Alexander Arnold. Straight away, Liverpool get a foothold in the game. Straight, and I mean straight away, uh, to get up the pitch a lot better. It looks to me like Gomez went into, it looked like a back three, where uh, Robertson was more or less just given the freedom to go as high up the left flank as he wanted. Um, straight away, uh, Bobby gets down the left hand, Bobby gets down the left hand side, dinks a ball, in, dinks a ball into Sadio Mane, uh, and Sadio was very unlucky not to score. Uh, from here on, we really controlled the game a hell of a lot better. But in saying that, Red Star Belgrade really sat in tight, really defended well, they defended well in numbers and defended very tightly. I uh, was really, really impressed by them. Now, in saying that, I really think that Liverpool should have started the game with the team that, that finished the game, Bar Di uh, It's just heartbreaking to see. Obviously you see, uh, I, I'm reading some stats on Twitter. Call the police, reading some stats on Twitter by a great journalist called Chris Bascom who says that that's that until Sa or until until a Mohamed Salah gets a shot on target in the 84th minute that that's the first shot Liverpool have had on target away from home since Kiev last year which personally isn't good enough Napoli I can forgive it because Napoli are one of the well, like they got it they got a 92 point season last year in uh, in, in, in Italy they're probably one of the best teams in Europe but this is Red Star Belgrade what's really worrying for me is fair enough Liverpool are, they're winning games they're not clicking but when you go to a team like Red Star Belgrade you really should be winning this uh, where we go from here I really don't know it's, um, it's quite frustrating because we're probably going to rely on, on the other two results and we have Napoli at home which we know will not be easy and Paris away which definitely won't be easy 
So here's hoping that, uh, oh God, here's a, sorry, I'm wrecked here, but here's hoping that we can, uh, we can really turn things around and hopefully things can get better. Uh, I'm gonna, gonna go through performances. Allison had some good moments, but uh, for me, he was, I'm gonna give him a seven out of 10. Uh, Trent wasn't great. I'd give him a five, he was with the half time for a reason. Uh, I thought Gomez was, uh, had us more defensively solid in the second half. I'm going to give him a seven. John Matip missed an absolute sitter on 88 minutes, which is it's despairing to say the least. Um, I'm going to give him a five. Virgil van Dijk, always Mr. Consistent, made the statement, made two mistakes for their first goal. I honestly think he's probably the best centre half I've ever seen play football. Um, my dad named me after the best Liverpool centre half of all time, and Alan Hansen, and I think uh, I think he's up there with him. I'm still going to give him a seven out of ten. Andy Robertson, Mister uh, Andy Robertson, yet again brilliant. He was my man of the match. I'm going to give him an eight. He was always on, always looking to create. Balls just couldn't fall on. Unfortunately, I'm afraid. Genie Van Allen caught the game bypassed him. I'm going to give him a six. James Miller always works hard. James is always going to give you a seven out of ten. Uh, he's just—he's just a workhorse. Tries his best. Popped up on both flanks and popped up through, uh, and gave great legs through the middle as well. Adam Lallana thought was really poor, really, really poor. He's still struggling to come to, come to form. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just going—I'm going to give him a five. I thought he was poor, although he did have two headed efforts in the first half. I still thought his overall game was poor. I think he's—I think he's still a yard off the pace. I think it could be one injury too many. Um, Daniel Sturridge whipped at half time for a reason. Uh, made wrong decisions in wrong places. Uh, missed an open, an, an open goal from two yards. At this level, you can't really afford to do that. Um, on the second, he, he decides to do two step overs and take. I, th I think it was on 30 minutes. Decides to do two step overs and take a shot from 25 yards. When the easier option of putting Trent in on the right hand side would have been a hell of a lot better with more options through the middle. Uh, Sadio Mane gets up and down quite well. Going to give him a seven. Some poor decision making at times. Uh, passing wasn't great. Uh, <clears throat> Mohamed Salah, what can he do? The ball's just not falling for him. Had probably had two good chances. Hits the post and has a shot on target. He can do no, he, he, can, he can do no more. Every time he gets the ball, he seems to be surrounded by three or four players. It's not his fault. It's just a it's just a caliber of player he is. And, uh, People are aware to aware to his threats. It's uh, it's tough to it's tough to watch, but that would that's just the way it is. Bobby Firmino came on, never does really does well off the bench. Uh, got us up the pitch a bit better in the second half. Uh, I'm going to give him a seven. Um, Divock Origi, I didn't even know the man was still at the club. Dear God, I'm like, like if, if Divock, if Divock Origi is, is our plan B. It's frustrating. But um, anyway, guys, thanks for listening. That's me. I'm disappointed all around because getting three points here would have made us in a lot more comfortable position going into the last two games. I know we have to win the last two games and probably rely on, on other results. Uh, but hats off to Belgrade. They, um, they took their chance as well. And uh, they've made history tonight. It's probably their, their most important game since 1991. So uh, hats off to them, but uh, worrying times for Liverpool. Uh, please do like and subscribe, it, it means a lot. Cheers guys, bye.